Okay, so we have um, a problem. This was number six on the, the target round. So we have three points are given and then we want to uh, find the value of n if there is a uh, five, six, the last points inside of the triangle. So let's go ahead and start like making a bit visual. So I'll draw these. And like what we are given is like the one comma one as one vertex. Since we don't have many points in between one, one and one comma one and nine comma one, I can actually list those. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So let's say like this is nine and then this is one. And then we are gonna get some point that is nine comma nine comma n. Okay. So the n probably is a huge number compared to this axis because we have this many uh, lattice points, but it's it's kind of harder to visually see. So at this point either. Okay, so what I will try, which is usually helping to make a rectangle instead, right? So we can kind of find the lattice points inside of the rectangle because it will be a bit easier than triangle and then we can just take the half at that point but what at the same time we do not really know if there are some points on this line so that's why we could still guess some points but you know at most since we have one through nine which means uh, if you exclude the, the corners you have at most seven x coordinates that is integer so you could have at most seven points on this line but we will see if this is possible because the slope doesn't look like one on one because we are going to get a lot of points. So which is why we could have maybe some points, one or two, maybe none. So I'm going to assume there is no points on this uh, hypotenuse. And then at the end, we are going to try to see if we can prove as actually as well. So, and if I want to count the, the number of lattice points on this uh, rectangle, inside of the rectangle. So imagine this is one point. So that's like eight comma two. 8 comma 3, 8 comma 4, all the way to 8 comma n minus 1. So since we start with like 2 all the way to the n minus 1, like I can just count the number of lattice points inside of this rectangle that is going to be on this like column. So if you exclude 1 and n, so you will actually get 2 lesser than n, which is n minus 2, uh, the vertical lattice points on this column, but we have seven of these. So we should have seven times n minus one inside of the rectangle. And if I divide this by two, then I should be getting the total number of uh, points or I can just multiply this by two, which is gonna be two times 560, right? And if I divide by seven, so that will be 80. So the n minus two is 160 and is 162. Okay, so this is something, but we have to make sure that we do actually have no points on this line if I want to go with this answer. So how do we how do we check that, right? So if you want to find the slope, because that will tell us how things are actually going on. So if you take the n as 162, which is going to be minus 1, which is 161 as the difference of the y's, and then 9 minus 1 is 8. So this is the slope, but I like to see what is going to be the next number when I increase the x by one, because I have only uh, a few x values as integers. So let's divide this by eight. So that should be one. And 160 divided by eight is 20. And then you get one over eight. So meaning that if you increase the x by uh, one, your y value increased by 20 and one eighth, which is not an integer. So if you want to increase this some number of times to get integer, you have to increase this at least eight times. So if I increase one eight times. So you start from here, you actually hit this point. If you increase this eight times, you get 161, which is one more than 161 is 162. You actually get this point, meaning that there is no integer value in this uh, diagonal or hypotenuse. So which is why we can actually go with this answer. Okay. This is one thing we can do. The second thing we can try is the using the Pick's theorem. So that could be another way we can try this problem. So just, just remember that that was equal to the, the number of points on the boundary, okay, B over two, plus the number of points inside of the polygon and minus one. So, but we don't know the area either. So 
if you take this is like x is one unit this is nine so this leg will be eight units so i'm going to just take this is eight and then for the y distance like this is n this is one the difference is n minus one so that light is n minus one units. So take the half to get the area and the number of like points on the boundary. So we know this is one through nine, there is nine points on this line. And then this is one through n, there is n points, but this point was counted twice. So n minus like, like one plus nine or n plus eight, which is n plus eight, okay? So I can say there are n, plus eight like points on the these two boundary because we assume this has no uh, points and this is gonna be divided by two. And then plus I, which is the number of points inside, we already given that's 560 and then minus one. So let's multiply by two to make that a uh, fraction gone. So that should be eight and minus eight equals N plus eight plus two times 560. Uh, minus two. So like if I subtract n from both sides, I get seven n and then add eight to both sides. So you get 16, there's minus two, which is 14. And then plus two times 560. And if I divide by seven, so the n should be two plus, this is gonna be divisible by seven, which is 80. So times two is 160. If you add them, you got 160 as well, 162 as well. So you could just see this is also another way to get this answer. So now we are we are ready to go on. Okay. So I hope that was clear. So I'll see you in the next video.